Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookingWithMe.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. I wanted to show you a little mini journal with cute little pockets that I came up with um, after I had made one from a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I thought, I want to make a mini version out of an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock. So, I'll show you how I brought that together and then I will show you whoops I will show you what I did with the pages for the inside and let's get started with this eight and a half by eleven sheet of craft cardstock um, it's like a it's a thin weight cardstock it's not too thick works great for covers because you'll be able to put some other stuff on top of it to make a sturdy cover for your journal okay so what you are going to do you'll need a scoreboard of some kind so I've got my score pal here I'm going to show you with that I had to go find this okay so what we're gonna do is score on the long side we're going to score it at four and a quarter okay and then you're going to turn it and you're going to score at five and a half so you're going to get you four equal rectangles scored on there then You're going to, on the long side, you're going to cut that score line all the way to where it meets at the middle point where all of those score lines meet. So that's what you're going to do right there. Then you're going to fold long ways and make sure that your corners line up. Use your bone folder. Okay, so you've got it like this. And you've got your two free ends here so if you open up there's your two free ends there okay so what you're going to do is you're just going to go in at that midpoint and just barely notch right there at the midpoint you've just barely notched right there and then you're going to come down here Sorry for any racket you hear. That's Aaron Jonas getting ready. Down here at the bottom, you're just going to cut along that line up to your tiny little notch mark. Okay? That's all you're going to do. You're going to leave the top alone, and you're just trimming out that bottom piece a little bit and even if you see your little notch in the middle even after you've done this it's perfectly fine because I'll show you why in just a minute all right then you've already got that folded so now you're going to fold up here so you've got your two connected pieces at the top your two free ends you've just folded up okay all right and you are looking to make sure you're even and even if this is a little bit longer it's going to be all right because you're going to be trimming these down to make pockets all right so now you have to make the decision of do you want a straight across pocket? Do you want um, your own little um, cut version pocket? Or do you want to use a 
border punch whatever you want to do this is where you make that decision so you're going to fold it back like you had it when you were doing your trimming right there in the middle okay and you're going to get your paper trimmer and see these free ends are going to be our pockets and we're going to have to cut these pockets okay so you can either put the two pockets together like this it's your free ends just wanting to make sure that y'all <laughs> get my drift here we're cutting these free ends because they're going to fold up on this and this is going to be your journal front here you're folding these up these are going to be your pockets so you've got to trim them down all right and you can decide how far down you want to trim them down your journal height is going to be five and a half inches so you know you want to cut them rather short so that you can put little ephemera or tags or whatever in them and them show and not stick out the top so you can either trim freehand pockets and if you fold them over you're going to get the same exact free-handed pocket on both sides or you can use your paper trimmer and you can trim them down so I'm looking at there's one two three I'm thinking I want to go down even further than that so I'm going to turn it this way and put it up against my grid paper and see how far down so there's five and a half that's how tall our journal is going to be so half one and a half two and a half I think that's where I'm going to trim my pockets so one two three inches over okay and you've got the two free ends you can keep them to use in some type of scrap ephemera later okay you open it back up and you fold them up and see there's your pockets so now I'm going to use my one inch, one and a half inch um, circle punch and I am going to notch these pockets here. Let's see. I think, I'm trying to think what yeah I can just use pen okay so we are four and a quarter across so that means middle is about here let's see middle is just about there and I'm going to do that again just because I want to be pretty accurate with this there all right and then you can put them together as long as your cardstock is not too thick you can put them together and get a good even notch on both sides so see that's our two pockets and there's our journal spine and there's our journal front now this is why you needed to trim that before you adhere your pockets because you don't want those edges going up against that spine 
and folding back and starting to look all ugly. So see, we don't have any folding over, even though this piece right here is a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to help my OCD there and trim that a little bit more to get a better look and then of course remember you're not going to see much of that anyway once you get your pages put in so i had went ahead and done another cover that i freehanded the pockets so i just put these three ends together, used my scissors, and did a wave effect, freehanded. And when you do them together, of course, like that, they're going to look identical to each other when you fold them over. So that's one way of doing your pockets. You could also do secretarial pockets and do them at a diagonal. You could tear them, um, cut them with your paper trimmer at a diagonal however you would like, but there is your little five and a half by four and a quarter mini journal made from an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. Now we are going to decorate them with some papers from the Tim Holtz Ideology memoranda collection pad and I will also go over a little bit I've already cut pages and I've already ink dyed them and then did some watercolor on them so the pages are cut because your cover is five and a half by four and a half your pages just regular copy paper is what I used are going to be cut five and a half just a little bit I mean like a short fingernail <laughs> less than a sixteenth of an inch um, under five and a half tall because you don't want them sticking out of the top or the bottom <laughs> and then eight inches across so eight inches wide by just a touch under five and a half tall okay then you're going to do whatever kind of distressing inking dyeing whatever you want to do to your pages then look how great they fit in your journal it is so cute so here is just a little snippet of what I did to initially ink dye these pages. before they um, dried all of the way I spritzed them a little bit more with the same hickory smoke that I dyed the pages with I spritzed them a little bit with the hickory smoke so that's the little speckles you see on there and then I even pulled off the top and just dotted the pages while they were still wet from the ink um, dyeing and just inked all of them and just spots here and there. I'll flip through these for you. And then this other age spots, I used Antique Linen Reinker from Tim Holtz. This is also Tim Holtz um, Distress Spray Ink. 
and this is the Distress Antique Linen Refill. And what I did so that it wouldn't be so um, dark and saturated, I took this out and squeezed out the inker five or six times before I put the inker on top of the paper and just spritzed it with this. And then added some more of that ink water solution from that pan that I just showed you. Um, with my gloved hand, I just picked up some of it and sprinkled it after I did that. And that gives you that runaway watercolor effect there. So that's what I did, and I'm just adding a couple of doilies every now and then. I haven't got any of this stitched yet. So I'm just going through and showing you the watercolor um, effect that I got on these pages. I just love how this turned out. I had not used the hickory smoke like this before um, to ink pages, and I really like that look. I love purple anyway. Look at that, it's kind of like sunrise looking there, where the two inks met and made even some green in there. The back side of that one, that's kind of a patina looking I got there. Another dolly. And then there's your center. And then here are the back sides. Of all of those papers. Some more of those patina looking, kind of even planet looking spots. Got a lot of that um, by unscrewing and tapping effect on that one. Kind of like a rusty color, rusty effect there. I really love how these turned out. And of course, if you're not into all of the watercolor or messy distressing, you can totally leave your pages blank. It's up to you. It is your journal. You do what you want to with it. So there are my pages. And I just love how they sound when you're Flipping through them, they're nice and crinkly. I love that. So, we are going to cover this journal with some um, card stocks, and then we're going to sew in our pages and adhere our pockets and see how this turns out in the end. So, let's Find. I also want to add some, I want to add one piece of this cardstock to the outside of this, just so that when you initially open up the journal, you won't see pages, you will see this cardstock. I like that. And it's double sided too. So very pretty effect there. So I want to do that. I think I'm going to, for this video, I'm going to um, cover this one, decorate this one. And like I said, this is the one with the wavy pockets that I made earlier, just to show you all the different ways you could decorate pockets. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side. And I need to trim this. And I want to have this mostly on the front. So, let's see. Five and a half and just a little shy. So, a little shy of five and a half. And then I need to make it eight wide. Okay, I've got that trim, so that's beautiful on the inside too. So let's see how this looks. Let's go ahead and get it folded. And 
even. Beautiful. Love it. I think I might, you know how when you're um, adding pages and, you know, you, the more you add, the more you add, the more the middle gets stuck out there. I think I might trim that down just a little bit. I'm not um, too against it being stuck out, but some of those middle ones are really stuck out. So I don't want to, at the end, once I get everything added in, I don't want to have a lot of overflow. So I think, yeah, I'm going to trim those middle pieces. All right, there's that little bit of trimming done. I went ahead and just done that off camera because it's just scissors and whacking away at it. And I could sit and whack and whack and whack a little bit more if I wanted to, but I'm afraid I'm going to get the pages really, really jagged if I do too much to them. So I'll just live with it. All right, so this is going to be my center and it's going to go in the middle there. But first we have to decorate this and let's see what papers this collection has some of the prettiest papers in it. Just go through all of these and these are little cut aparts um, that would be perfect for our little pockets that's going to be on the inside of that. So we can save those for that. And let's see. They're all so pretty I don't know which ones I want to use for the front. I like that. I think I might come back to that one. Now here are, those are, you know, cut apart to there. And this is kind of full page. With some accents on the edges. I like that too. That's cute. Ooh, I like that too. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this sheet here and do this. on that outside. Okay, so I don't want to wrap it. I want some of this craft showing. So I think what I will do is cut just the least bit down short of four and a quarter. So I'm not going to four and one eighths. I'm just going to trim it in between that. And then five and a half just in between that five and um, let's see one, two, five and three eighths and five and a half. So in between that. So I've got my um, cardstock cut. And I am going to use this one on the front and this one on the back. And before I put them on, let's go ahead and ink them. Ink those edges. And I am using tea dye for my inking. And I just refilled this pad, so I'm very very juicy so <laughs> I don't have to 
go back into the pad as much as I would if it was not already inked up. Okay, cute. And a back piece. And that gives it a really good vintage distress ink look. I like that. Kind of dirty it up a little bit more. And I'm going to put this on with score tape. So I've got my 5 8 inch score tape. So I have my front and my back covered and now I need to pull my pockets down and cover this and this and then adhere my pockets. So what do I want in the middle? Let's see. It doesn't necessarily have to match on either side either. I think I want this and this on the middles, uh, on the inside middles. Ugh. All right, so I need the exact same measurements. I'm doing a little under five and a half. I'm, I'm even going a little closer. So maybe to uh, the quarter inch. So one, two, three. So just a shade shorter than, um, whoop, I need to do it on the tall side. That's on the short side. I want to have this as my tops. So I need to cut this part off that I don't want. So I will probably go at just a shade under five and three eighths. So let's do that. Okay, and then I need to cut a little, just as close to the uh, four and one eighths. measurement as possible and then also remember that you can cut the insides off a little bit deeper so like right under five inches and that will be the bottom of it will be all covered up with your pocket duh I'm a little bit Airheaded when it comes to stuff like this, you know. All right, over here. Yep, that's going to look good. And when you flip those up, see? Do I like that? Pretty, pretty. All right, I'm going to adhere these before I take the um, score tape backing off. I'm going to ink the edges. Okay, then take off my score tape back. And add these. And get them centered up at the top. Remember, it doesn't matter what it looks like at the bottom. But as long as you're centering at that middle fold, your spine of your journal and just getting it centered up there and do the other one and this one has writing yep making sure my writing was upright 
All right, then you want to try and get even on that side because, you know, you want it pretty even. If you go astray a little bit, you're all right. See, I went my way a little bit, but once you distress ink the edges of the journal, you're going to be all right. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and decorate the fronts of your pockets before you adhere them down just so that you can get that notch out okay so that's the smart thing to do so we've got our front and our back and then we've got our inside covers and then we need to not worry about the inside of the pockets but flip it over this way and we've got to decorate those pockets there I went ahead and covered this pocket uh, just so I, I could get those measurements down good for you before we did this one and what I did is I just turned it this way and I measured so that I could get a little bit of the craft paper showing you know around that little notch so the covers of your little pockets and these pockets I know that I told you I cut um, the three inches off initially off of that top where we folded it up and that's those that were cut off so what was left was two and a half of course because we have a five and a half height on this and what I have done is cut my covers to go on these little two and a half inch tall pockets. I've cut them at just a touch over four inches long. And then, I have to change that note because I changed it when I cut this piece. Uh, and then at two and three eighths tall. I forgot my other L. Can't even spell. Um, so that is the height of this piece. And then what I did to get the notch so that it's kind of even and shows a little bit of that craft, you get this piece how you want it and then you get it lined up with your paper back behind this like this and it is lined where I want it and I'm going to get a paper clip and you're going to pull it all the way up against the top of your pocket and then lay it back down to make sure it's still lined up with the other and it is and then I flipped it over and did a pencil mark on the paper and then you take that off and you get your one and a half inch circle punch again and go just outside not inside not uh, pulled in but you see the lines there and I'm going inside it just a little bit okay and then I'm going to ink my edges And I really dirtied it right there because that's um, a picture of a man there. <laughs> and his one little eyeball was showing, so I thought that was a little creepy. So I dirtied that up a little bit more. And so see, then when you start to put this down, and you are looking more at your lineup here, with this paper than you are this right now. But once you line that up, that lines up with that and gives you a little bit of a um, matte look with that notch. Now I need to um, ink these edges before I put adhere this pocket um, cover 
on here. I need to ink all of these edges. And remember, I'm using the tea dye Tim Holtz Distress Ink. You don't have to forgive me, guys. I'm finishing this video in um, three different days just because of our crazy schedule right now. We are um, doing 13 different dates in 15 days right now with our um, singing group and our ministry. Um, Brandon is preaching a week-long revival and we just came out of Sunday service uh, and sang a service Sunday evening and then this next coming Sunday we have two more services and then next week we have three or four more services next week so my voice is tired this morning I'm trying to get this finished for you guys so I can get it up on my channel since I'm a little behind on getting videos up right now and so my voice is just tired this morning so that's why I've got more gravel in my voice than I usually do <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and ink this back here and ink the bottom okay then I'm going to open this up and I'm going to put it on with liquid glue. You use your liquid glue of choice, but right now my two liquid glues that I'm going back to over and over is the Art Glitter Glue and the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I love those two glues. And I need a new tip for my art glitter glue or I just need to put my art glitter glue in um, my sugar bell bottles that would be what I need to do because my bottle here is getting harder and harder to press and I know if I would put it in my um, sugar bell bottle it wouldn't be that hard to squeeze all right so I put these on with liquid glue just because you're going to have to maneuver it around just a little bit to get it exactly where you need it and if you were to put it down with score tape like I did everything else you're going to get it stuck and you cannot move it so yes that is where I want it, so I'm going to get my bone folder and roll that glue down and then make sure it's still where I want it to be. Then I'm going to get my eighth inch score tape and I'm going to fix my pocket here and just go along the edge there and really burnish that down and then take that away and go ahead and set up our little pocket And get it lined up exactly how you need it okay so now you have a front you have your inside and two pockets here and then you have your back everything is inked so I believe we are ready 
to let's go ahead and just make tags to go in these and those if you cut like I did and cut as low low here as I did you will have two three inch pieces from your cardstock your base cardstock whatever you used I used craft and look these fit in perfectly so I'm thinking I will just add some of this paper this Tim Holtz paper to the fronts of these and maybe even do a little bit of tearing to strengthen them up a little bit so they're not so flimsy to go in those pockets and that will be my tags and then we will put in our pages and I've already got my pages all set up I've got that on the outside I'm going to ink this outside and then in turn it will ink a few of my pages too I'm just leaving them in there because I like that look go ahead and ink all of that up I'm not going to worry about that because it's going to be in that spine and you're not really going to be seeing that so ink all of those edges and then when I get it in and secure I'll go around a little bit on the inside not too much because I don't want that ink to come off on my pages too much because I've got my pages like I want them all right so I'll put that there and let's work on these tags I'm thinking I want to fussy cut this little lady out of here and then let's look at these papers <clears throat> excuse me and figure out what I want for these tags let's see I might do these I don't know how wide they are but I might do these if they kind of mat up against that I think this one and hmm what's the backs look like maybe that one that doesn't look anything like no we're good all right so let's tear this one out and get my cutter I've got you zoomed in wide so I'm gonna go a little slant it on you so that you can see me cut all right I want <laughs> what did I say <laughs> oh me I'm delirious with tiredness said I wanted this one so let's go ahead and cut that one there I think the other one was on that that I just cut off let's go ahead and get this one out of here and then we'll see how much we need to cut down if any get it matte on that piece that tag piece I think it was this piece that I wanted whoops I cut that just a little short let's see what we got here all right Okay, so I just need to cut in just a little bit and this one will definitely need to be cut in just a little bit I think I will do it this oh yes of course I'll do it this way because that's the way the writing is do it that way and I need that cut in a little bit let's do it this yep 
Okay, so these are three inches wide, so I need to cut these. Let's go two and three fourths, and I want to cut it off of this side. Two and three fourths inches. And two and three fourths inches. <clears throat> Let's see. There. Cut off some of the prettier part, but I wanted that little red notch there. And then cut this one there. I'm saving those little slivers like I'm going to use them. Yes, I like that. And we shall ink them. And then I'm going to fussy cut this little lady out of here and probably put her here and then I'll find a flower or something and fussy cut here for that let's see if we've got any floral pieces on These that I've already cut. What about I just do this little tag off to the edge? Yeah, I like that. I'm not going to get my cutter out for that. I'll just hand cut that. Okay, and then I'm just wanting my little floral piece. And see, this goes right along with that piece so I'll have <clears throat> this tag in this um, pocket and let's just ink away and I'm going to ink these other pieces and fussy cut her and I'll be right back all right my tags are done there's my one with the little fussy cut lady and I will put her in this pocket. And then the one with the little rose cut out at the top. Put that one in that pocket. And they fit wonderfully. And you could even add um, more thicker, maybe even a little booklet like in these because there's plenty of room in those pockets but I like how those look and I love the um, difference in showing the craft and then the um, pattern cardstock that just gives you that um, I don't know kind of line of demarcation just so that you can see that it kind of breaks it up so that all of that pattern paper pattern cardstock doesn't just bleed right into each other so now it is time to add in our pages so I've got my foam block that I'll put underneath it and my awl and I am going to open this up to the middle make sure that all of my little doilies are still where I want them to be if I can even find them. Yep, there they are. One. I think there's three in here. Two. Three. Yep, they are. And I am going to use my large clips that I got from Miss Betty Renfro. Thank you, Betty. Middle shall be. five and a half so our middle is three, 
equal two and three fourths. So two and a half, two and three fourths middle. And then come down one and a half maybe. Okay, one, two, two, two. There we go. That just gives me an idea of where to put my all marks, holes, whatever, before I do it. Okay, I'm going to fold this up, make sure the booklet is where it needs to be. It's a little bit taller than where it needs to be. Okay. Fold it up and get our all without getting my head in the shot so that y'all can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, there's my little mark. I've got my booklet where it needs to be. And I'm going to poke that middle hole until I am all the way through and can feel it, ha ha, poke through that foam platform. It is through and last mark get it through just a little more there we go okay now I'm going to clip to my cardstock base so that it doesn't slip and get my wax thread one two three lengths and thread it And then I'm going to go through that middle inside to outside and leave yourself enough so that you can tie a good knot and then outside to inside. Okay, and then all the way to the top, inside to outside, without getting hooked all over your paper clips. And then you're going to go back in the middle, and you're going to come on the opposite side of that first tail there and yank and pull and yank and pull until you get it through all right you're gonna look on the back make sure yep you're good there <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and take off my clips and I'm going to pull tight and I am going to make a double knot and then I'm going to trim it off but I'm not going to trim 
so close that if something were to happen, I couldn't get back in there and tie more if I needed to. All right. So we have our spine there, our front, our front pocket, our booklet, our little insert, junk journal pages, and then we have our back pocket there and our back cover. So this came together really cute. I like how this happened, how that thought in my head happened. I really like that. I like how chunky it already is. You could of course attach some ribbon or seam binding or something here and give yourself a closure but I'm just letting it be a book. I like how it Pac-Man Pac mouths out. I really like how that came together. I will give you some still shots at the end if you have any questions about dimensions or how you need to cut something or how you need to fix something let me know in the comments and I want to see your projects if you are not already a member of our Facebook group scrapbooking with me boutique on Facebook please ask to join and we'll get your membership approved in there and our members there share all kinds of um, projects and their takes on me and mom's tutorial videos so we want to see your projects too. Let us know if you make these and make these little mini journals out of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Y'all have a great day. If you are not a subscriber, please do so and give me a thumbs up on this video. It helps me out so much with YouTube. God bless y'all. Bye.